Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, let's welcome the fighter in the blue corner. Representing B Mac Jim, an unbeaten fighter with one win and no losses. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike with the smooth. And his opponent in the red corner. Fighting out of Rough House Gym. Also an unbeaten fighter with three wins and no losses. Ladies and gentlemen, Thomas Owen. So we've got um, in the in the blue corner, we've got Mike Witherspoon fighting out of BMAC, and then we've got Thomas Owen in the red corner fighting out of Rough House. Uh, two two gyms we've seen a lot of tonight and two, two top gyms two gyms that have looked very good tonight absolutely and we've got two unbeaten fighters here I'm really excited about this one actually we saw uh, Mike Witherspoon make his debut in GTFP 13 and get that second round armbar Thomas Owen he's, uh, he's got two finishes on his record as well so so fireworks then. So this, this one will go the distance then <laughs> now that I've cursed it you yeah. put the commentator's <laughs> curse on it absolutely they're both coming out pretty uh, pretty aggressive. Yeah, both trying to land those big body kicks. A nice outside low kick there for Witherspoon. Again, exchanging the low kicks. That was a nice shot. Just on the, uh, you can see a bit of reddening in already. Just kind of on the lower thigh, on the, just on the outside of the knee there of Thomas Owen. And we've got a, a takedown attempt now from Witherspoon. See if he can get yeah, if he can drag Owen down to the floor. Nice balance there from Thomas Owen. We've seen a lot of that happen tonight on one leg. It seems to have worked quite well tonight for the takedown defence. But not there. He got. He managed to turn the corner then and he put him down. Straight yeah. into Butterfly Guard. Butterfly Guard, you can you can work some stuff here, Thomas Owen from Butterfly Guard. He can work to look for the sweeps. Obviously, if he drives up and pushes up with those feet and the shins, he can uh, create some elevation and, and look to separate as well if he wants to get this back to the mat. Yeah, I imagine he'll use it for a, for a sweep, I think, get a little bit of a, a bit of space. You could even see something crazy like a helicopter armbar or something <laughs> from him. Now, that would be crazy. Has he got? He's got one leg pass now, so he's in. He's gone. He's advanced to half half mount or half guard. Yeah, it's a good position half guard because you can kind of control your opponent a lot more easily than obviously when you're in the full guard. Or it's a very good position. A lot of fighters now tend to enjoy staying in that half guard to land heavy ground and pound as well. But a dash choke then. Yeah, yeah, but Owens did a good job of scrambling there, getting back to his feet. Owens has turned him as well. Beautiful work from Owens there. Pushed up against the cage. Let's see if Owens can get a bit of top position and see if he can be a bit more offensive from top. Good head position there from Thomas Owen. Really driving it into the, the chin and the cheek. You want to get right under that chin so you're, uh, you're opponent. Good balance from Witherspoon though. He's looking relatively comfortable in a, a not a very nice position. He's turning his body, he's putting his... Yeah, he's remaining active. He's constantly moving and now he has to defend his own single leg and almost a replica of what we saw but the other way around earlier on that yeah. single leg dragging him off the uh, off the cage and taking a nice position and, and this is a good position in the uh, in the center of the cage because obviously um, Mike Witherspoon hasn't got the fence to to climb up um, using his back for for obviously a bit of support and stability as he tries to get back to his feet so I like looking to land 10 some. seconds to go he's just started to throw I think that's good Produce some great young up and, talent, uh, up and coming talent, as do all the gyms that we've seen oh, so far today. The standard in this country for the amateurs is phenomenal, and it's just getting better and better and better. Touch of the gloves, and uh, Witherspoon opens up with a big looping right hand and crashes into a uh, into a body lock and straight up against the fence. Owens managed to turn off the cage though. Oh, nice, nice body kick! Oh, nice big switch kick in there yeah. as well. Be careful just ducking that head in in case uh, Thomas Owen decides to, to throw that uppercut. Obviously, it's not as dangerous here in the amateurs because you don't have to worry about the knee coming up the middle, but, no. but he still has to be careful ducking in like that. And it looked like just as he was ducking, just before you said that, he caught him with a right cross just as he ducked. Yeah. Mike Witherspoon, you can tell that he likes this, uh, this single leg. Um, he, he's tucking down with it as yeah, well. But Owen's straight back to his feet. 
Yeah, pretty impressive. Straight back to his feet. Yeah, that, that takedown is not going to score anything with uh, with Thomas Owen getting straight back to his feet. He wants to dig in that left left arm. He wants to dig in an underhook there if he can. Now he's trying to push down on the head to... Uh, We've seen a lot. He's going for a double leg now. He's trying to get his hands connected, but he switched the single because he couldn't get his hands connected. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, nice mixing it up between the single leg and the double leg. He's getting his opponent thinking, but Thomas Owen comes out of that clinch with a right hand and a lovely, beautiful left uh, left hook to the body. They're both landing. They're both throwing, they're both throwing um, combinations here as well, which is nice to see, not just one punch. I thought that body shot there had... Uh, it really hurt with a spoon, but I think he was just uh, ducking out of the way. Oh, and that's what you've got to be careful of, ducking down and, and into that shin. So he does a, a nice down, job though. of getting a takedown. Yeah. Straight into side control as well. The only thing going in Paul's favour there is he's managed to get up against the, the in Owen's favour, so he's managed to get up against the cage. So whether he can use that, to, he's got his back against it. Whether he can use that to get himself back to his feet. Absolutely. In the early days of mixed martial arts, it used to be a hindrance when you were stuffed up against that cage. But oh, yeah, the Tito Ortiz, the Manic Couture, when they were first on it, was get him up against the cage and then and beat the living daylights out of yeah. the cage. There's a sacrifice throw there that didn't work, and that's what happens when it doesn't work. You end up on the bottom. Yeah, you see quite a lot of that in uh, in amateur mixed martial arts, going for those throws and and then ended up on the bottom, but. But Thomas Owen looks comfortable here, sitting in the half guard and looking to just control that left wrist of Witherspoon and pull it away to create a bit of space and land some ground and pound. It's been another close round, so really, if he wants to try and finish strong now, and just I would just throw punches from this position just to just to cause a little bit of damage and look look to the judges that you you land in effective striking. Yeah, just got to be careful with his neck. It looks like he's uh, he could potentially no, he's let go of it now. Look like he could potentially be looking to slide that. Uh, that hand in under the neck and who knows so you've got the rubber guard here yeah it's just a control thing that though isn't it there's nothing there's no there's nothing there but control and he's not really controlling him much yeah he's lost that position though yeah and then straight away he dives and looks for the uh, the single leg again but Thomas Owen defending it well as we're just about to see out the second round in what has been a really close fight so far. I've just heard one of the cornermen saying 1-1. One, one. I, I don't know how you can score it. He's, He's raring to go for this third round. The referee's, referee's pushing him back again. Come on. Give and me a couple off. of yards. And we're off. It's all on this. It could literally be all on this round. Yeah, he might be this one. Has to be careful again with that, that ducking down. Like we said, he got caught with a bit of a uh, shin, to the, uh, shin to the chin in the second round by ducking down. So just has to be careful about that. I wonder if the corner team have picked up on that and said to... Obviously, you can't throw knees, like you said, but you can throw a good uppercut. Yeah. And if you time that just right... So yeah, you can get in nicely with that as, uh, as your opponent's ducking the head in. and It's Owen this time who initiates the clinch yeah, up against the fence. he's the early control then. He looks like he's got on. underhooks, two underhooks or just the one? It looks like he's got just the one at the moment and, uh, and Witherspoon's just defending on the, no, the far side. Right. But oh, another sacrifice. Yeah. And he ends up on the bottom. On the bottom in half guard. Yeah. We've seen that a couple of times in this fight actually where they've gone for the throw off the fence and... Uh, he's getting his knee through as well. Yeah, they've, it's happened twice. Uh, and they've ended up on the bottom. They've, met, they've just made the wrong call. I suppose that's, that's what comes with experience. He's putting his arm there into his uh, into his throat. Nice little sweep attempt there. Yeah, it's lovely using that. As you can see, he's just using kind of that one butterfly, just yeah. elevating uh, with the spoon, not allowing him to get chest to chest pressure, and uh, and that's what's creating these scramble and sweep that's opportunities. Really impressive because it's that is, it. super, <laughs> that is a superb scramble there to, to get into the top control and kind of a north south position here. Absolutely brilliant because he had to really push for that. You could see that he could have lost that at any time. And he kept on pushing through and was able to get the get the sweep. And now he's moved into side control. I feel like the cage is going to be a bit of a hindrance here because they're, they're too close to the cage. Yeah, as you can see, he's just trying to manoeuvre his opponent around. He uses some nice knees to the shoulder blade there. <laughs> if Uncomfortable. If Weathersby can get his feet on the cage, I don't know if he can. He might be able to push up a bit, but he might just be a little bit too far yeah, now. It looks like he's been... Uh, Thomas Owen just, just realised that and, and kind of manoeuvred them away from the fence a little bit. I think it's helping Owen that he's on the cage side, but saying that's changed now, they've spun round. Witherspoon looks like he's struggling a little bit. Maybe now we should try to try and push off the cage. There we go. He's try again. That's what it's all about. We can see, we've seen people walk out of this position before, haven't we? Absolutely, yeah. They, they, they yeah. can stand up. 
Oh, nearly had him again. Good control here from uh, from Thomas Owen, landing a, just some peppering shots, obviously doing enough to uh, to keep this position. It's quite hard when you're inside control in the amateurs. You can't obviously throw those elbows or anything no. like that, which uh, which you can utilise to good effect professional level inside control. Yeah. And uh, and it's quite easy to lose the position if you if you get overzealous with the striking, but. It's got, had a good solid minute, minute and a half of, uh, of top control here in round three. and I think he's taken this third round, uh, Thomas, but I just don't know about the other two. Yeah, it's really fun fight, really fun back and forth. Two really very evenly fight. matched athletes and uh, both shaking hands at the end of that fight. And it's going to be a very interesting, uh, very interesting call for the judges here. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for both of these fighters. After three rounds, a split decision has been reached. To the winner, in the 